What's up guys, it's JFM here, welcome back! Today I've got an awesome door to showcase that is activated using a fishing rod. But before I begin showing you guys what this is and how it works, I want to give a huge shout out to Derpy J Holmes on Twitter. He sent me a whole video on how to do this, so thank you, huge shout out to you my man, this is an awesome little design. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So I've got one simple thing in this chest, and that's a fishing rod. And watch how easy this door is to activate. Oh, come oh. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. So now we just move over a little bit to the right and fish it up, and the door opens. Now to close the door from the other side, we do basically the same thing here. We just gotta get it up, slide it over, fish back, and the door closes. How cool is that? I'll show you guys one more time just to show you it works. We gotta fish, oh, okay, fish this, there we go, slide over, hit the button, then we go through, and then we go back up, fish once more, there we are, go over to this side, and pull back the lever, and there we go. I don't know why I just said lever there. <laughs> All right, now I'll show you guys how this works, and after that, I'll show you how to build it. So let's go ahead and take a look what's up here and what makes this whole thing work. It's actually very simple. All you need is a minecart and a few rails, two regular rails and a detector rail. What happens is you fish up the mi- I- okay. Right, uh, <laughs> okay, 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 I figured out how to do it. So you fish the minecart, you walk over, and then you pull it away, and there you go. And then to get it back, you simply do this and pull it through. So what happens is the minecart goes over the detector rail, and once the rail is powered, the door then opens. That is how this thing works. Now, it's time to build it. Obviously, you can use whatever block you want to build this, but I'll be using iron blocks just because it makes it very, very easy to see how many blocks I'm placing by counting the edges. So what you're going to do is start off by making a frame for the door just like this. Then just punch out a small hole where the door is going to be. We're going to need to build this up to make an opening for this door, then we can place the iron door inside. That's pretty much done. Now what we've got to do is build up these sides. You don't have to, but it just makes it look a little bit nicer. We're going to need to make a spot where the minecart can go on the tracks, and that is right up here. Place the tracks just like this. That's all you need. Then go ahead and place blocks on the rest of the iron, and you can fill it up and hide the tracks by placing blocks in front and behind of the rails. And that's the whole design. All you need now is to add the minecart, and you don't even need the ladders. It'll stay up there by itself, unless of course, you want some ladders to do some maintenance. Okay, so now that we've made this new design, let's go ahead and make sure this thing works. So let's start off by simply reaching up that. Okay, reaching up. Okay, reaching. Okay, what's going on here? Is the minecart still? Oh, I think I have them. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, that ought to help me out. There we go. Now let's test this out. Yep, the door opens and will it close? Probably because that pretty much it, it makes sense. If it opens, it should close. Okay, come on now. Why am I having such a hard time doing this all of a sudden? There we go. And we can close the door. Voila. Boom, bang, pow. Now, a quick disclaimer, I was told that this does not work on creative, and I'm assuming it doesn't because if you fish the minecart, it's gonna break. So it works only in survival, which is a good thing for people that wanna make custom maps or just wanna add this to their survival worlds as a cool hidden door that most people won't be able to get through. And think about this, if you don't have a chest there with a fishing rod, people are gonna walk up to your door and have no idea what to do, because it's not obvious. You're just gonna come up here, see an iron door, and all you'll be able to do is look beyond and see what's on the other side. Look, there's a bird, dude. It knows what's good. I'm telling you, I just heard it inside. What's good? <laughs> so yeah guys, that is it for today's awesome redstone tutorial. Once again, a huge shout out to Derpy J. Holmes. Awesome design. It is very, very cool. So go check him out if you'd like to see more of his designs. I'm sure he's got a great arsenal of things. Anyways, that's pretty much all for today's Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Stay on the lookout tomorrow for the next episode of the Let's Play. And if you're new to the channel, well, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.